I think this brings us into more of the orgasmic category. And let's just talk about that for a minute while we're on that topic is just a really the very fallow centric idea of intercourse and what that's supposed to do for women that we see in older movies in Hollywood, right? Just that moment of penetration and she's having an orgasm, which is so false, versus the role of the clitoris and then what kind of education we need to do for our partners, whatever gender our partners are, as to how that's really the orgasmic organ. Yeah. I mean, talk about things you didn't learn about in medical school, right? And the reason, I mean, the clitoris is amazing. It's the one organ in anybody whose sole job is pleasure. That's a freaking cool organ, right? And then you're like, what about the penis? Penis has three functions. For all the urologists listening, it has to pee, it has to get semen out, and it has pleasure. So clitoris has one function, pleasure. We don't get taught about it. And then our, our sex ed includes penis and vagina don't get pregnant. So it really is the organ of pleasure. It is innervated like a penis. It looks like a penis. These are homologous structures. So if guys think their penis is a big deal, that's what a clitoris is. <laughs> that's awesome. Most women, yeah, most women who orgasm because of penetrative sex, one of two things are happening. Number one, they're getting concomitant clitoral stimulation. Number two, their clitoris anatomically. Some clitorises are just closer to the vaginal opening, so it's getting attention that way. So that's really a very good point, right? So again, even when people talk about the G spot, right, and they talk about different positions with intercourse, and so we don't really know a lot about the anatomy of the G spot. We know that there was a lot of hype in the 70s about that, but some subsequent data shows where some sensitive areas in the vagina are, but not as sensitive by any means as the clitoral area and with respect to orgasmic ability. So yeah, I mean, the G-spot, the modern term is the G-zone. It's not a spot that makes people think it's small. It's not small. It is the periurethral, basically where you're making an incision for a sling. So it's anterior vaginal wall, about an inch in, underneath the urethral clitoral complex. When it's innervated, you are innervating clitoral nerves, basically. So think of it as one and the same. It's an internal way of hitting the clitoris. But then when you say that, too, if you again, to make that point about the innovation of the clitoris versus the intervaginal wall under the urethra in this G zone with surgery, we don't have women that have a sling surgery and they can't have an orgasm now, all these women. So, again, it just speaks to the difference and in the innovation and the intensity of the innovation of the clitoris and how much more important that is. Yeah, I mean, I think any sling surgery should have a consent that this could affect sexual function. I think we do that over and over with men and prostates and penises. Oh, absolutely. We should mm -hmm. do that. But the data suggests that you fix a woman's incontinence, her sex life gets better. So there's many, many data saying the sling actually is great for your sex life because now you're not self-conscious about leaking. Your body image is feeling a little bit better. It can be good. But there should be an informed consent of like, hey, it's pretty rare, but we're operating around the area.